I did a CEO swap with uh, Rand Fishkin, who runs a, um, a venture backed startup in Seattle. And he and I have been friends for a long time. And, you know, uh, for me, uh, I never lose sight of the fact that this is my first rodeo. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I mess stuff up all the time here. And um, I hope that the mistakes I make are recoverable ones. And uh, I thought it would be really neat to completely go open and swap with someone else and for them to come in here and give me a critique. It's why I say students should take maybe a year off of school and sit with somebody because by Rand being here for a, even just a week, there were things that he saw that he's like, wow, well, you know, you might see this as an issue coming down the pike because like I'm at 150 people and we put certain things in place that you don't have yet. So he was very, very helpful for that. He wrote a whole blog post on all the things he would do differently if he was the CEO of Sear. And I did the same for Moz because we used their tool set. When my mom emailed me, she got Rand and Rand wrote her back and was like, this Reynolds, like, this is Rand. Remember, we're doing the swap, and like, Will doesn't have access to his email, really. So, like, I'm, is there, and, and, and you know what Rand said to my mom? Is there something that you need that Will would have typically done for you this week? And it, I think, you know, for me, uh, CEO swap was about learning more than it was about teaching. Like, I didn't go in there thinking that I had something to teach. Um, I really wanted to come in and learn a lot, and I felt like I did learn a lot, and I reserved a lot of my thoughts on what people could do until I hopefully earned their respect at some point in that week. So I took the first two days of just listening a lot. I'm trying to understand people and remember their names. Because you know, how much are you gonna hear my advice if I can't remember your name? Oh, I think you should do this. What's your name again? You know? So I, I spent my first two days just studying people's names and understanding how the organization worked, hoping that like when I pieced it all together, I was able to give them something back of value as well. So uh, the coolest thing is when one of his clients, or one of the people he referred us to, emailed him being like, I'm really glad that you referred us to Sear. We just met with them, they're great guys, you know, they've really done it. And for me, that was just like, that was my like, am I still taking care of my clients moment? And it was like, yep, I'm still getting the right team, even though we're growing and the right clients, like it's not easy. I make some mistakes on the way, but that was my like, I'm taking over Rand's inbox, like, you know, I'll pass this along to him. But that was that kind of unfiltered, like, they didn't necessarily know that, like, they were going to get me. And, uh, and, like, that was one of those, like, checks that you don't get often to make in your career as you're growing a company very fast, to be like, are we still sticking true? And I know we still have our mistakes and our issues, but that was one of those really nice ones to see.